hello thank you so much for clicking on this video how are you today in today's video i want to talk about how you can permit evil wicked and unreasonable men into your life yes they can only gain access into your life when you give them permission and when you allow them yeah anyone that is not good is bad and the truth is that there is a balance this life is light and darkness it is good and bad it's either you are on the good side or you are on the bad side and this video is specifically for the good people you know we are sent as sheep among wolves whether we like it or not we encounter evil and wicked people and the only way to protect yourself from them is by acknowledging that you are the one that gives them permission into your life to begin to commit all sort of havoc to begin to hurt you to begin to cause mishap sickness death heal look all kind of disadvantage that happens to you it is you that gives them the permission you know apart from the one that our loved ones our family members give permission at this moment i'm talking about your encounter into this world personal encounter into this world and how it affects you personally as a good person once you're a good person you are the chosen one it means that you've been chosen before the foundation of the earth to walk in the path of good and righteousness and you are seen as sheep amongst wolves that means you'll be constantly being attacked good people are hated by bad people you are a light and you shine so bright and you know people are jealous of your light they don't like your light they will do everything that they can to quench that light you come into this world to manifest and to balance this world with your goodness that's why anybody you encounter they begin to experience some kind of fortune things become easy for them you know you make life easy for them if you notice this kind of people they are usually other artists they are motivators they are if they come into your life they strengthen you when you're weak they lift you up they don't put people down the problem is that this set of people the chosen ones are under attack yes you are under attack and you are the only one that can give them permission to get into your life there is an oral of protection around you god protects you they are holy angels of the almighty god that is watching over you and going everywhere that you go with you but you are the only one that can give permission for darkness to come into your life and one of the ways that you can give permission for darkness to come into your life is through envy once you begin to envy you open door what is envy and jealousy envy and jealousy is begin to think that you want to be someone or you want to take over what somebody has you want to be like them and it causes a dark feeling of resentment for that person in your heart once you begin to have that feeling my brother my sister you're giving the devil access into your life and once you give them that access they will be able to strike and once they strike your glory that brightness in you will be stolen from you so watch out once you have that feeling of jealousy once you want to begin to feel like you don't want someone to better to be better than you once you begin to feel like you're envious of someone know that you are giving access to the devil to come into your life and his agents by the way people that are darkness of darkness will be able to gain access into your life because you have permitted them through jealousy and envy another way you can give access to wicked and unreasonable men into your life is true anger and strife you know if you have a temper i've seen people pride themselves by saying i don't take rubbish i have a terrible temper if you try me i'm going to give it to you well the Bible says be angry but sin not. And the Bible says Jesus said blessed are those that are not offended in me. You know, offense will come but do not take offense. Yes, so once you are that kind of person that is easily triggered, that is easily hang angered, know that you are opening the door for evil, wicked and unreasonable men to get into your life, to strike your life, to bring all sorts of mishap and misfortune into your life. So if you have anger issues, watch it work on it now and stop the evil one from coming into your life 
The third way you can give the devil access into your life is through pride. Yes, the Bible says God resists the proud and give it more grace to the humble. God doesn't want to have anything to do with a proud person. So once you are proud, you're giving access to the devil because God takes a back seat. He doesn't want to have anything to do with a proud person. So that's one of the things you need to deal with so the devil doesn't strike, so that wickedness, darkness don't have access into your life to subdue you because you are born to shine as bright as possible take all pride what is pride pride is when you think of yourself better than everyone else now there's a difference between pride and confidence and a lot of people misinterpret confidence for pride i'm not talking about someone that carries themselves very high with high self-esteem and respect themselves. I'm talking about when you see yourself and you think that you are better than everyone else and you want to subdue everyone else. You feel like everyone else should serve you and bow to you. That is pride. Once you think yourself that way and God doesn't want anything to do with a proud person. Another way you can give evil, wicked and unreasonable men access into your life is true hatred and bitterness you know and that's a very dangerous emotion so you begin to have strong feeling of hate concerning somebody you know you can be offended by somebody you might not like somebody but the word hate is a very strong word and when you begin to have that strong feeling of hate concerning somebody you open the door for the devil to strike you give the devil access into your life because god is not hate god is love and i said before you are the chosen one you were born with love you were born to share you were born to express love so once you begin to express an identity that is not yours which is hate and bitterness you open the door for the devil to get access into you all kind of mischief including sickness i once had a pastor say the root cause of most of the sicknesses that people have to deal with for a long period of time is as a result of bitterness and hatred so if you have hatred for somebody you have to try to forgive the spirit of forgiveness is the spirit of god so hatred unforgiveness bitterness they are all one they give the devil access into your life and lastly as a choosing one as one that is born with light to shine into this world there's one way you can give the devil wicked and unreasonable men access into your life and that is overly ambitious once you're overly ambitious it makes you begin to negotiate with the devil one of the characteristics of the devil is that he's a very great negotiator so if you're that kind of person that is greedy overly ambitious one that is discontent you have a strong desire to get things and in your mind you say by all means i'm going to get this by all means you automatically open the door for darkness into your life to quench your light. It is okay to be ambitious, but being overly ambitious, being greedy, wanting things by all means through hook and crook, that's a way that you will totally destroy your life and give the devil access into your life. So if you are a chosen one, you have to be careful with this character. These are character traits that you should eradicate out of your life to protect your light, to protect that blessing that God has given to you, to keep your angels around you, protecting you, so that when the enemy strike, your angels will guide them and they will not have access into your life. Yes, you have that power and only you can do it by controlling and eradicating everything that does not shine the light of God in your life as a chosen one. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is BD, but you can call me Auntie BD. I'm a growing content creator and you subscribing to my channel will do me a great deal of good. And I think that you also find this video up here interesting, so click on it to watch. Thank you so much.